you need to start using the Garden Merchant in Pet Simulator 99, no matter what rank and how many cubes you have. The Garden Merchant is so overpowered, and in this video, I'm going to go over each aspect of the Garden Merchant and the Flower Garden, just so you guys have a comprehensive knowledge of how this game mode works, so you can best utilize it to your advantage. There are a lot of misconceptions and I did a lot of testing for this video. So if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like on the video and comment down below what you enjoyed about it. It helps out tremendously. In your comment down below, make sure to comment your Roblox username so you will be entered into our exclusive pet giveaway that we do on every video here on the channel. Just make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on so you can be ready for the giveaway as well as liking the video. Without further ado, let's get into why you should be using this garden merchant. You know, guys, I just think it's really sad that when most people play Pet Simulator 99 and they come to this area, they always just run past the garden merchant. And the garden merchant is always so sad that nobody stops by and purchases stuff. And the messed up part is that the stuff the garden merchant sells is actually pretty good once you get to a certain level of rep. As you guys could see, I am on my alt right now. I'm currently trying to get this account to rep level 5 right now. I'm halfway through rep level 4, so I'm getting there. Because you guys will see in a little bit that the rep level 5 is so OP for this garden merchant. Alright, so first of all, let's just do a little dive into how the garden merchant well, as well as the flower garden works. So, when you unlock this area, you will have access to these first two slots at first uh, with a zero rep level. And you are able to purchase these seeds for 350 diamonds. Um, so, you can either buy, it'll usually be a coin seed or a potion seed. So basically, you are going to buy these seeds, and then you can come over here, over the bridge, into the flower garden. So once you get into the flower garden, there's going to be a bucket over here somewhere that you got to pick up for free. And you're going to be able to use this to water your plants once you plant the seeds. So these are going to be empty boxes, and you can run over and basically plant whatever seed you have. So when you come into the flower garden for the first time, you're going to have access to four of these plots to plant seeds, but you have the option to purchase more for diamonds starting at 10K, going to 50K, then 200, all the way up to 400, then 800, and then finally 1.6 million. Now, I don't suggest anybody to be buying all these three plots over here. I mean, I think in the long run, it could possibly be worth it, but it's going to take a while to earn back these diamonds. So honestly, I would just stay away from this side. Uh, even this 200K one is pretty expensive, but on my main account, I do have this 10K and 50K spot of unlocked because I found that it was very much worth it to me. In the Garden Merchant, you have access to four different seeds that you can get. So I'll show you here, we have the coin plant seed, the potion seed, the diamond plant seed, and the gift plant seed. With the gift plant seed being the most rare one, but it's not the most expensive. The diamond seed is actually more expensive with a higher wrap value of 6.7k compared to 4.9k on the gift plant seed. But these are pretty rare, so you probably won't have that many of these compared to diamond seeds. Alright, so now we're going to get into the bread and butter and how this garden merchant really is so OP. So each of these diamond seeds that you plant will generate you somewhere between 10 and 15,000 diamonds. I did a test with about 35 diamond seeds and I got an average of around 11.5k diamonds uh, on each of those seeds. So I would say that's about the value of these seeds. The current rep value of each of these seeds is 6.8k. We'll round up a little bit. And then the rep value of these Instaplant capsules are 2.2k. So adding that up would be about 9,000 rep for you to buy a seed and then buy an Instaplant capsule and Insta grow it. So just that right there, you can get a guaranteed 10k. 
So if you really wanted to, you could go and find these diamond seeds in the trading plaza and the Instaplant capsules in the trading plaza and then start printing diamonds. If you have the patience to just sit in here and keep planting and then insta growing the diamond seeds. But as we know, the seeds are worth a little more than 10k. Uh, because sometimes you'll get 15,000, so it increases the average that you get by a little bit. But this is not why I say the Garden Merchant is so OP. If you remember earlier in the video, I said that I am trying to get this account to Merchant Level 5. That is for a very important reason. Because when you get Merchant Level 5 in the Flower Garden, you are able to unlock this slot which will sell you a bundle of two seeds for 2250 diamonds. So it's a really good deal. And a lot of times it seems like this slot is full of diamonds. So you can get two diamond seeds for 2200 diamonds. And then you can buy that package three times for a total of six diamond seeds for 6,000 diamonds. And as you guys know, those six diamonds, diamond seeds are worth at least 60,000 diamonds once you plant them and on top of all of that this garden merchant restocks every hour on the hour as well with the advanced merchant and the regular merchant you can come here and restock on diamond seeds every hour while you're just running and doing other stuff and then you can come back and plant them whenever you have some free time this area is just like a really good supplemental diamond income that you can get while doing other things in the game it's not like you have to focus your time on the garden merchant this is just another thing to stop by while you're running around and buying things from stuff like the vending machines and getting your free items for the day an extra 50k worth of diamonds just like almost every time you come here on the hour is just really good and just another thing to boost your diamond income not to mention that getting the respect level 5 also gives you the chance to get the golden water bucket in the slot which will sell for around 80k so if you get that, that's also very lucky. And you can just overall make so much diamonds by getting this respect level 5 on your account. And then just come in here every hour when you go to buy stuff from the regular merchant and the advanced merchant. I also decided to do a test with the seed pouches to see how many of each kind of seed you get from opening these kind of pouches. And then doing the math to see if it was overall worth it or not worth it for me to open these up rather than sell them. So I opened a total of 114 of these seed pouches and I got a total of 400 seeds exactly somehow. <laughs> I have the numbers all right here as you can see on the screen. We got 35 diamond seeds, 121 potion seeds, 230 coin seeds, and 14 gift seeds. The number next to it is how many seeds on average I got per pouch that I opened. So as you can see from each pouch, I got an average of 0.3 diamond seeds and then an average of 1.06 potion seeds, an average of 2.01 coin seeds, and then an average of 0.12 gift seeds. The total value of these pouches... The total value of these seeds actually came out to 354,353 diamonds. Divide that by the total number of pouches we opened of 114 and we got 3108. So 3108 is the, the average value that we got for opening each of these packs. The current wrap value of these pouches are about 3500. So we actually didn't really make enough to really justify opening these. It kind of would have been better to just sell them and then buy whatever seeds uh, from the training plaza that we want. But for many people, that is just kind of a hassle. So I'm guessing most people would still just open these up. Even if you are losing a little value from doing so, it's just the convenience. Uh, it's a lot easier to do that than save 400 gems and go have to go search through the trading plaza for these seeds. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the Garden Merchant. Quickly, we're just going to talk all about the strategy that you should go ahead and use for leveling this up. To be quite honest, all these seeds, the potion and the coin seeds, you're going to get a lot of them when you open the pouches and stuff like that. 
Uh, so I would not buy any of the ones that are above the 350 mark. So these first two slots are always going to be 350 gems. I would just buy these to rank up because anything above that is just wasting your gems. Unless you just want to get to the respect level 5 quicker. Uh, so like I, I usually buy these ones as well on this account just because I have so many diamonds. And it doesn't really matter to me. But, and I kind of just want to get to the respect level 5 as soon as possible. But for you guys who do not have a lot of gems, just stick to buying the 350 gem ones and uh, save your gems for now. But it is really worth it once you get up there because you basically just start printing money every hour that you come up here. Another strategy is that when you get these acquire potion missions on the right side, you can actually use the potion seeds to fulfill those missions. So when I'm done planting stuff, I'll often just leave some potion seeds growing naturally. And then once I get a mission to collect potions, I'll come over here and finish the mission by, by harvesting those plants that I have been growing. So, in my opinion, it's not something you should just be go willy-nilly spending all your gems to quickly get to rank level 5. But this is a great supplemental diamond income for a lot of the newer players and even upper level players that we don't really get to talk about all too often. So, if you think this garden merchant guide has helped you, please like the video. Don't forget to comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway as always. Thank you guys so much for the love on the videos, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.